I made this little book for a friend and I wanted to show it before I give it to her because it would be just like me to give it away and then forget to even take a picture of it. So I'm all happy I remembered. Um, this is made from a toilet paper tube and um, I've been seeing lots of these around lately. Um, a lot of them are just, you know, like the little, let me get the tubes. I have a couple here. A lot of the books I've seen are using the tubes as pages like the, whoops, you know, each page is a tube and then you can stick a tag in the pocket or something, which I think is really cute. But I haven't seen very many that open it up and do it like this, so that's what I decided to do. And I just take the tubes, take one of the tubes and just cut it down here to open it up and it makes it a perfect size little mini book cover. Um, look what I discovered. Not all toilet paper tubes are the same size. I had no idea. I thought they were like universal. But I had one brand downstairs, one brand upstairs, and they're different sizes. Who knew? It takes so little to fascinate me. Anyway, oh yeah, here's a tip too. To get them to dry really flat like this, especially if you're using them in a, you know, tag book like that. If you wet them, I usually just take my wet paintbrush and run it along the edges and maybe one swipe down the middle and then let it dry under weight overnight. Then it'll stay good and flat. Because otherwise, if you try to do it dry, even if you put it under quite a bit of weight, when they come out, they still want to do that. <laughs> Sorry, that just was funny to me. Okay, um, my my butt wipe book. Here we go. This um, is just very simple. This was a painted background paper that I made that I covered it with. I did a simple uh, crisscross binding on it. It has two signatures, and then I just glued a something I printed out off the internet on there with just some little doodad things. That's all. And it just has a simple piece of muslin to tie for the binding. And inside I have, for the lining I used, um, that's a piece of one of the paper towels that I use when I'm painting. And I use it to just blend paint and, you know, clean up my palette. And those rags always end up looking way better than any background paper that I can make. So I use them a lot. Um, okay. The only thing that I see when I look at this book is my mistake. And you can probably see it. And I know better. I can't even believe I did this. But I always make a little template before I punch the holes for the bindings. I made the little template. I marked which end of the template was the top. But somehow I still managed to punch one of the signatures upside down. Well, I had the template in there upside down. And that's why it's just slightly off. You know, even if you measure really carefully, it's, you're almost always just slightly off. And it didn't, I couldn't even tell when I had punched the holes in the spine. You know, they looked fine to me. It wasn't until, of course, I got it nearly completely bound that I saw it. And then by that point, I was like, oh, no way. I'm not going back. So, yeah, one, one signature is up just slightly further than the others. Then the other one is because I had my punching template upside down. So that is all I see when I look at this book. Uh, it, it may be just cute as can be. I wouldn't know because all I see is my mistake. Anyway, it's just a very simple little, like a little mini journal. I've got some, just some printed papers, some little coin envelopes, and inside there I put just some little things that I printed out. I, I don't know where I got them. Probably the graphics fairy. That's where all the good stuff comes from. I've got just all kinds of bits and pieces of notepads and uh, stuff from around the house and some stuff I printed out. Um, you know, it's just very random. And I figure she can just use this for whatever she wants. Lots of room to write in. She can add her own stuff. 
just a real simple, it didn't take me very long to make either. And the um, I used Yes Paste to put the paper over the cardboard tube and it held really well and it, it wasn't too bad to bind through either. The signatures are pretty thick and I don't, normally don't like them to be that thick because I, I have uh, wrist issues and I have a lot of trouble pushing the needle through even when it's pre-punched. But it wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad at all. And I did pull the binding a little bit too tight when I was doing it and that's why I've got this little V-shape going on and it's kind of squished together because you know the cardboard's not very sturdy. It's kind of bendy. So that wasn't really the look I was going for but it's not bad. I mean it looks kind of you know corset-ish which I guess could be a good thing. So that is my my first um, toilet paper tube book attempt. And I'm going to do another one too that has like everyone else is doing with each tube as a page, you know, a flippy thing. But um, I, I think this one turned out really cute. Very girly and then the person I'm making it for likes really girly stuff. So I hope that she will like it. Um, thanks for watching. Bye.